What's up guys? Uh, so it's been a while. It's uh, been probably three weeks since my last video you put up. Um, that's, that's been for a reason. Uh, mainly because I haven't been buying anything for the last three weeks. Um, it's been very tight financially at the moment. So I've had to sort of rein myself in a bit. And uh, not buying the comic books. That's why I ain't seen the couple videos from me. Because I haven't been buying anything. Um, I did buy a haul. Uh, about two weeks ago. Um, it's a good size haul. Um, as I said before, I'm still trying to drop titles at the moment because there's so much on. But I have been picking up bits and bobs. Um, you know, I've, you know what I haven't bought, I've sort of borrowed from friends and stuff. So um, I have been keeping my reading up. I've read Ghost Rider one, thought it was amazing. Um, haven't bought it yet, but I have got it to buy. Um, I'm very lucky that my guy at the shops has been putting the books by for me. So. Once I get my back, myself back on a financial uh, even, even kill, I can uh, go in and pick my books up. And uh, my God, there's going to be one hell of a monster haul video coming up. Because um, it's probably going to be about three or four weeks worth, so the pile's going to be pretty substantial. Um, but you know, that's just what it is sometimes. Um, as it stands, I've got this stuff here to show you. Um, it's all old stuff. You know, when I say old stuff, it's about two or three weeks old. Um, some of it I've read, some of it I haven't. This stuff have red because I put the lids down. Them. Um, so I'll start off with this stuff first. And uh, yeah, hopefully, you know, you like what I picked up. I'm sorry it's not new stuff, you know. But hey, hey, it's what it is. We have Wolverine and X Men number two. I haven't read it, but this continues the uh, Phoenix Clan storyline or something. The Phoenix Group, Phoenix Corporation. There's a corporation of the Phoenix. Uh, the Phoenix is their god, so to speak. Uh, X-Men 12, you know me, I love the X-Men, but this is in serious jeopardy of being dropped at the moment. And it's such a shame, because when this first came out, I thought it was amazing. And now it's just sort of getting by on its looks alone. Uh, Avengers World, number four. Um, I'm still digging this at the moment, only because it's introducing me to some characters I'm not used to. And the storyline's a bit different. Um, I think this has got a finite life for me though, I don't think this is going to be the long long haul for me, but I'm enjoying it at the moment. Uh, we have, what do we have here, Secret Avengers number one. Um, why did I pick this up? I just picked it up because it's number one, I quite like the front cover, I quite like the art style on it. Again, it's similar to the, um, I don't know if it's the same guy or not, after the check, but again it reminds me of Luther Strode. So, that's pretty cool. Uh, Captain Marvel, issue one. Again, picks it up because it's at number one. Um, not too familiar with Captain Marvel, so I'm really happy to give it a go. All New X Men 24. Uh, Trial Jean Grey, part five, six. Really digging this title. I think it's one of the stronger titles, and it's going to be a spin off with uh, Cyclops getting his own uh, mini series or possibly ongoing series. He's going to reunite with his dad with the Star Jammers. Uh, and Warner X Factor number four. Um, I've enjoyed the, the, the first three issues so far. Issues one and two are very good. Number three was a bit okay. -ish, a bit, yeah, yeah. Um, hopefully, this picks up again. Uh, again, this is, this is a trial book for me. So, you know, I'll probably give it six issues. Um, if it doesn't impress during that time, then it's it's getting chopped. Uh, guilty Pleasure, Superman Wonder Woman. Um, I don't know why it's Guilty Pleasure, I just feel like it should be. Um, Zod and Fiora, great, great issue. Uh, I can't wait to read this. The last issue was fantastic. I can only assume this is going to get better. Um, what do we have here? <laughs> Uh, Cosmo Bos Bosco says, prime crap and material, and it is indeed. I don't know what's happening in this, probably not a lot, never does. Um, but you know, when I take a dump, I should take this with me. Thor God of Thunder, number 20. This is no way ever getting dropped by me. This is such a great book. Uh, what a cool front cover. We have Badass 3 or 4. Um, Dynamite Studios' his own version of Deadpool. Uh, looking forward to see what happens to that next. Um, 
Curse 3 or 4. This is a really cool werewolf tale. Uh, great art on it. Uh, reminds me of 30 Days of Night, like I said before. Um, it's um, It's got a lot to do. This this issue and next issue, I've got a lot of story to tell. It's only a full part. Um, but I can't really read it. Great book. And then we have Uncanny X-Men 19. Um, again, looking forward to this. Uncanny X-Men is just starting to get interesting for me now. Um, someone's beeping a horn outside. Very inconsiderate. Trying to make a video here, don't you know? Uh, but yeah, Uncanny X-Men, very good. So that's the stuff I haven't read yet. Um, I've been purposely sort of reading my books slow. Because I picked these up like two weeks ago. Um, and I've only read that in two weeks. Because I'm trying to just paste the books out a bit because I know I'm not going to be able to pick them up this month um, I know I can't pick no books up to me it's, oh, it's killing me uh, but we did read this month Superman Unchained number 6 um, I just don't care anymore you know I think it's got to the point where I'm picking this book up for the sake of it now and the art's just not going to be enough to carry this book along you know it's like going out with a top model yeah, she's beautiful, but if she's brain dead, what's the fuck's the point? Um, and that's kind of how I feel about this book. You know, I need something to stimulate me up here, um, not just visually. So it's a shame. I really want this book to do well. And for a time, first three issues I thought were really good. But since then, it's just been dragging and padding. And it's just, you know, it's another book I'm going to be picking up. So this is probably my last issue. Chopped. We then have... The Great, The Awesome Superior Spider-Man, issue 29. I haven't read 30. I don't know if 30 is out yet. I'm going to have to get down my store if it is. Just pick that one book up. Because um, it's all starting to wrap up now. Um, you know, just how clever is the Green Goblin. He is a genius, it would appear. Great issue. Don't need to talk about Superior Spider-Man. We all know what's going on. Uh, we have Superior Spider-Man Annual number 2, which is pretty cool. Um... It's a Ben Ulrich retrospect, so to speak, and it was quite a good story. Not necessarily pivotal for the main ongoing story, but it's just nice to have in the collection. Um, had some good moments in it, you know, it showed that Hulk Goblin could possibly be reached. Um, X Force issue 2. Right, so I thought the first issue was okay ish. I thought I'd give it one more issue. Um, I did. It was shit. Not getting any more. Shot. Thunderbolts 23 um, oh, I'm really digging Thunderbolts in the moment I don't know what they're doing but they're doing something I kind of enjoy it the same way I enjoy reading Nova um, again nothing happens um, really nothing substantial happens but it's just a good fun read and that's why I'm not dropping it yet in fact I've only just picked it up technically uh, but yeah, it's a good book. This issue uh, revolves around Venom wanting to leave the Thunderbolts. Um, probably because they just introduced Ghost Rider. Probably got too many characters on board now. Uh, but yeah, Venom wants to leave. And he says, you know, basically, look, as a leaving gift, can you try and take me down? Um, just in case that one day I do lose control. Uh, should I need to be taken out of the equation? You guys can do it. And that's basically what happens. It's um, Thunderbolts versus Venom. And it's a very cool issue. Uh, we have Ghosted number eight. Uh, it's just cool. It's this more horror. It's horror, horrorish kind of. Um, I don't really read this for the horror element. I read it more for the main character, Michael. I think just I think he's just a kind of. He's quite a good anti-hero. Um, he's a complete dick in real life. If he was ever to be real, and you'd probably want to kill him. But the fact that he's now sort of possessed by um, I think Sanders' ghost. Uh, it's just making all kinds of interesting and you know you add the paranormal into that and it just opens up all different avenues of exploration you can go to so I'm enjoying it uh, Five Ghosts or uh, yeah it's uh, Fabian Grey <sighs> a little bit disappointed with this issue a little bit um, I kind of feel this sort of like panning for time a bit I'm not, I really enjoy it. I think it's a good book, but this is one of the ones I've least enjoyed, so to speak. It feels like they're just trying to stretch the story a bit. Uh, we have Undercover of Avengers Undercover, 
Right, so basically this is what happened to the kids from Avengers Arena. Um, they all go undercover working for evil geniuses. It's crap. Chopped. And finally, Batman 29. Uh, the question mark. The Riddler. Uh, okay, it was a good issue, actually. It was a good issue. Um, opened up the storyline a bit more, thankfully, that time. Um, but still, I'm just getting, I'm still getting this frustrating feeling about this. And I don't know why, but the re for some reason, the fact that Batman has purple gloves just really bugs the shit out of me. Uh, apart from that, it was a good issue. Um, yeah, it's Batman. It's, you pretty much know what you can get with Batman. Um, so yeah, look forward to the next issue. Um, but this probably will be my only Batman title I pick up. And then what else we pick up? Haven't read this yet, but we've got Saga Volume 3. I can't wait to read this. Um, I'm probably the only, one of the only few people who don't pick this up in single issues. Um, and I don't bother basically basically because I missed the boat a bit. Uh, so I just pick it up in trade now. And this reads fantastic in a trade. really does. Uh, so can't wait to read that. And then what I did read was uh, The Walking Dead Volume 20. Um, Finally, I had a week off work, and the whole week, my whole week off work, because my birthday week, I had my birthday two weeks ago, and I took the week off work to celebrate my birthday, and I spent the whole week reading uh, Walking Dead. Um, I think I showed you guys a while ago that I bought the Walking Dead um, trade paperbacks. I bought volumes one to nineteen, um, and I basically read one volumes one to twenty in the week out of work. So I am right up together now with my Walking Dead series. And fuck me. It is um I know a lot of you guys were complaining about the Forever the storyline with Nagan and whatnot. Forever War, is that what it's called yeah? Uh Nagan's a mean motherfucker. You know? Took Glenn away. So no, it's just the the I just had a week long Walking Dead marathon and it was Fucking amazing. So it was very cool. Um, so yeah, that's basically what I picked up, guys. Um, probably not going to see another video for me now for about a week or so. Two weeks. Yeah, maybe three. Um, we'll see. I've got some back issues I need to put up, actually, to show you guys. Um, I keep meaning to do it, and who knows? I might show you. Um, but yeah, it's like I said, it's been an expensive two months for me. Um, I had to buy the wife a new car. Um, I went and bought myself a little birthday treat, which was quite expensive, which is probably half the reason why I'm so uh, short of money right now. But you know, you got to do these things. You only live once. Um, so yeah, I will be back on track shortly. But until then, peace. Thanks for watching. Uh, come, I'm watching your guys' videos. I'm not commenting on your videos as much at the moment. Um, that's not to say I'm not watching. Um, I haven't been commenting because I've got nothing to comment back on because there's not I haven't read a lot of these books you've been reading or showing me. Um, but you've been showing me so much books and so much good stuff and you're wetting my appetite and you make me really jealous. Um, but I have been watching and as usual it's all great stuff. I've been giving thumbs up, you know. Um, I don't always comment because I don't like to feel pressure to everyone have to comment back to what I comment. And, you know, so, but great stuff. Really enjoy it. Uh, Till next time. Thanks for watching. I'm going to go down the stairs, I'm going to read some books, maybe watch a film, who knows. The wife ain't back for another two or three hours, so the house is myself. Peace. Uh, thanks, take care, bye.